Hey everybody, it is Leo here. I am bringing you a Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep final mix video today. This is a series I always wanted to do videos for, whether it would be a Let's Play or something like that, but because I never invested in a PS3 capture, I decided I just wouldn't really get all too far into it. But this is uh, a particular video I wanted to get invested in because, as a big fan of the series, uh, I never did get the chance to play the original Birth by Sleep on the PSP. So when I started playing this one, I jumped right into critical mode, being a veteran of the series, blah, 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 blah. And knowing that the level cap was 99 in the previous games, I was surprised to find that when you hit about the 40s in this game, it becomes incredibly difficult to level up. So I looked into it, and it does turn out you can get to 99 in this game as well. But there's a particular way you want to go about doing it, at least in my opinion, the most effective way to grind out experience is here in the Radiant Garden. Now, you need to get to the reactor where uh, all the characters fought the, the Trinity armor, and that's where the cornerstone of this quote-unquote trick is. Now, I'm just being an idiot. I can't even remember if I'm going the right way to get there. So, this trick does work for all characters, that's the first thing I want to say. Uh, however, Ventus and Aqua have it slightly easier, in that they have the Mickey D-Link, and he gives you uh, double experience, and then of course you're going to want to have the experience chance ability on as well, which gives you another double experience when you're under 25% HP. So, I'll show you my ability setup in just a moment once we get outside where we're going. I'm pretty sure there would have been a faster way than the way I took, but I'm almost there. That fire glide. It's pretty fast if you're moving in a straight line, otherwise it's terrible. Alright, here we go. So you get into the reactor, and let me show you what my setup is looking like. <coughs> So first off, my command deck is three Mega Flares and two Victory Poses. Now the reason for the Victory Pose is if you use it right after killing p things or gaining experience, it triples the amount of experience you were going to get at that point in time. So you definitely want to have those on. Then next, you want to go ahead and turn off all your Treasure Magnets, all of your HP Prize Plus that you have, and the rest can pretty much stay. If you've got three Fire Boosts, it's helpful because we're going to be using Mega Flare, as you already saw. So now, I'm going to want to go ahead and, if I want to ideally do this, I'm going to go ahead and pop the Mickey D-Link now. Now this slows the process down in one way, but it, since you're doubling the experience overall, it's actually better. Oh wait, no, I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. Sorry. Never mind. Can't use the Mickey D-Link, because you don't have your Mega Flares then. So, ha, huh, noob mode right there. Wah, wah. So anyway, then you're going to go into the room, forget the D-Link, you walk to the middle, you get these guys to spawn, you pop your Mega Flare, it's going to take out two waves of enemies, you hit your Victory Pose, and they're supposed to respawn, but they're freaking jerk faces that didn't. So I'll do this a couple times so you can get a better sense. I didn't run in far enough, so that was my fault. Wow, really? What the hell? There we go. See, now I screwed it up because I'm sitting here in the middle, so... I'm just going to reset this whole thing, because I didn't even let myself get beat up anyway. So the whole idea here is you're going to let yourself get under 25% health, so that way you're gaining the experience bonus from experience chance. Damn my awesome defense. This is critical mode, you bastards. Kill me! Come on. Uh, that'll do it. All right. So now that you get to hear the annoying alarm, that's the only drawback. I suggest mute for this trick. So I'm weakened up. I'm gonna go ahead and cue my mega flare, so to speak. Run in. Mega flare. Don't let yourself get the HP balls. Do the quick victory pose. Mega flare again. Victory pose. And that's how it's supposed to be done. 
Now doing this gets you about 1,200 experience every time you run in and out of the room. Now having magic haste on helps considerably because as you can see my mega flares are still kind of on cooldown right now and that's never fun. But overall not the worst thing in the world because they'll come back up pretty quick. And that's how this trick works. So you just do that back and forth. It's definitely tedious, but you're not going to get 1,200 experience doing anything else in this game that fast. So it's the most effective way. You can get to, I'd say, level 60 relatively quick. And at that level, you can easily do most of the hard content with a little bit of skill and practice. So as always, guys, I do want to thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. If you'd like to see more Kingdom Hearts videos, let me know. I am pretty much done with the series at this point, but I'd always be willing to go back and record some data battles from Kingdom Hearts 2 or maybe the optional bosses here. So let me know what your feedback is, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.